For those of you that don't know, I'm Maggie, and today I'm a little bit more relaxed than usual because I'm filming in the morning, because having a new puppy and trying to balance a job and wedding planning and everything I have going on, my whole schedule has been upended. So, we're trying something new. We're gonna just film when we can when the puppy is sleeping. And so today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of my February favorites. Now, this isn't super extensive because most of my February was occupied with like figuring out how to live with a new little puppy and going out like every single hour. So I guess I could talk about a lot of dog things that I really like, but maybe we'll save that for a completely separate video. This I like to keep kind of beauty and lifestyle oriented. And at the end of this video, I want to tag on some birthday freebies that I got. Now, if you've been following me for a little bit, then you'll know that I've done previous videos outlining all of these different things that you can get for free or discounted around your birthday. And my birthday was in February, and so I went to the mall with one of my good friends, and we picked up some of our freebies. Now, this is way less than I usually get. And also, some of my emails got messed up, but I'll be sure to touch on a couple of things that my friend Kessler was able to get that I couldn't get my hands on. Let's just start with beauty. The first thing that I wanna mention is this Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Now, I've had a rocky relationship with this. I feel like when I first got this, I was using up the very last little bit of my Laura Mercier loose setting powder. These have been directly compared and said that they like perform the exact same. I do think that they both perform really, really well. I think I may like the Laura Mercier just a little bit better, but honestly, this has grown on me a ton. And I don't know if it's because I don't have that Laura Mercier powder to directly compare it to anymore or what, but I have like almost used up this entire thing. It's lasted me a really long time. I can't recall when I got this, but that probably explains how long I've actually had it. And I use the shade Fair Light 10, and I just think that it mattifies your face without making it look, you know, dry and crusty, especially in these wintry months. I think that this does a really good job of still letting a little bit shine through. I'm wearing it today, and I don't have any foundation on or anything. I just kind of put on SPF and then concealer, blush, highlight, and bronzer, and that's pretty much how it goes. So you can see that this really did a good job of kind of perfecting and mattifying everything since I didn't have a foundation or anything else going on today. Really, really have been liking this powder. It's incredibly inexpensive compared to the Laura Mercier one. So I think, honestly, I'm just gonna keep repurchasing this one and skip the more expensive one, especially since now I can't really tell a difference anymore. All right, this next product is totally rediscovered, and this is the Hyaluronic Acid from the Inky List. This was sent to me for free through Influencer. I really like getting products from that. It's really cool to discover new brands and new things that I wouldn't go out and buy myself, but in this stage that I'm in where I'm really trying to work through all of my products, those can seem a little bit overwhelming. And this was one that was sent a really long time ago, so I stuck it on my big makeup organizer thing that I love in hopes that I would use it. And my skin has been so dry, especially, I mean, it's winter, so it makes a lot of sense. I had run out of my good moisturizers and I was like, how can I add an extra layer of moisture or hydration to my face without going out and buying a new moisturizer? So I rediscovered this and I absolutely love it. I wanna directly compare it to another hyaluronic acid serum that I have, and these are the same but different. This one is a lot more liquidy formula. It goes in your hands and it kinda runs everywhere, so you have to act fast. But this really does such a good job of just adding a drink of water to your skin. Especially if you don't have a super hydrating moisturizer that you're putting on top of it, it can kind of like, you know, they can do double duty, they can tag team and really get the job done on your face. Now this serum was also sent to me through Influencer a while ago. This is the Jane Iredale Beauty Prep Hyaluronic Serum. And I don't like this as much. You can see that I've really tried to use it up. I have just a teeny tiny bit to go and it's fine. I just think that this one was way more effective. And if I'm not mistaken, this one is way less expensive. The Inky List to me is a direct competitor to The Ordinary if you've never heard of it. So everything that they have is like 10 or $12. It's really inexpensive, but this I found to be incredibly effective. So I had to throw that out there. What I was tag teaming it with, I also wanna mention, this is the Hanalei Island Aloe Gel. Again, I ran out of nighttime moisturizer for a while and eventually I did end up going and purchasing a real nighttime moisturizer because in the end, I just needed more moisture for my face. It's something that's definitely going to get used up, so I felt okay about it. 
But in the meantime, this is something that I got through Causebox, and it says that you can put this on your face and your body all over. And we actually got this in a summer box, so I assumed that they meant for you to use it like after you'd been in the sun for a little while. But I was like, you know, aloe is really good for your face. I remember Kathleen Lights had this big issue with her skin a long time ago, and she used aloe and it like completely healed it. So I was like, what the heck? I might as well give it a shot since I'm out of moisturizer. So when I paired these two products together, that's when I was like, okay, we're getting somewhere. It wasn't enough for the winter, but I feel like this combination would actually be completely sufficient in the summer, at least for my oily skin that I get when the months get hotter. This is a humongous jar of it and a little bit goes a long way. I cannot stress that enough. It looks super thick on the inside, but honestly, when it starts to spread out on your face, it gets a lot more watery and really spreads and goes a long way. Use less than you think of this, for sure. Okay, within the same skincare realm, I couldn't not mention something that has not impressed me. And that is this Grown Alchemist Hydro Repair Day Cream. Unfortunately, I really don't like this. This is the type of moisturizer, stick with me here, that when you put on your face, makes it feel like you're wearing a mask and that your face is sweating a little bit. Does that make sense? Like it doesn't rub in easily. You have to use just the perfect amount of product or you're gonna have like white streaks all over your face. And then it's just a hassle to rub in. It doesn't layer really well on top of other products. I'm gonna use it up because I'm not just gonna throw it away. But I just don't really like it and I would definitely never recommend this or like go and repurchase this myself. And so I wanted to share that with you. It's not all fun and games here all the time every month. This, not my favorite. In some hair care favorites though, I have this Kristen S dry finish working texture spray. I always like to travel with dry shampoo, texture spray, and hairspray. And I love this stuff. And I can't remember, I feel like maybe I had a full size bottle of this in the past, but I will definitely be repurchasing this. I think that it just adds the perfect amount of grit, almost a little bit of extra hold to your hair. And I typically only use texture sprays when I curl my hair because I want it to hold the style. But a lot of people use texture sprays all the time just so that they can kind of make their hair look a little messy. I don't know, it just totally depends on your preference, but I love the nozzle on this. I think Kristen S products smell super high quality, super like fancy salon quality, and you can just get it at Target. So I will definitely be repurchasing this and maybe even a travel size to keep with me because I like it that much. Okay, not exactly a hairstyling product, but definitely a hairstyling tool that I absolutely adore. This is not new at all. I have just been blow drying my hair more recently, and I've been ever thankful for my hair dryer. And my parents got me this for Christmas a couple years back. This is the Ceramics Extreme Bay Bliss Pro. I have recommended this to so many of my friends. We now all have the same hair dryer because they would come over, they would use it, and they'd be like, you're not kidding. Now I always use mine with this pointed diffuser. Always, I have to. My hair is extremely thick, and I just feel like my blow dryers perform so much better when I have this on it than when I don't because I feel like the heat is just too dispersed and I need it more concentrated on my super thick hair. And this is like one of those matte soft touch hair dryers. And I love that the controls actually slide up and down versus having like a button that clicks back and forth because your hand is on top of the controls. So you never risk like turning your blow dryer off or changing the heat setting or the power or whatever. And I love that about this. I hate blow dryers that have like buttons that didn't think about how you actually hold and use a hair dryer. So this one is just so high performing. It's super high powered. Love it. Love it. Love it. You can buy it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure that's where my parents got it. And I've seen this at Ulta for sure. Now moving on to more like lifestyle, home items, clothes, you know, the drill. The first thing happens to be these leggings from Fabletics. And I love the color, the big, like the cobalt blue. I think that this pairs well with a lot of the black workout clothes that I already own. It matches my black spin shoes, you know. I like to match, I like to look coordinated when I go to the gym. But these specifically fit so well. These are the Trinity high-waisted pocket leggings. And it also has this note in the back that's like the Motion 365 made by Fabletics, so I think it's part of that line. But these are so buttery soft, rivaling Lululemon 110%. I'm wearing some Lululemon leggings right now and these totally give them a run for their money. If you're somebody who runs or if you're somebody that goes to a very traditional gym where you're on equipment or something, these pockets come in handy to hold your phone so that you don't have to worry about setting it anywhere and leaving it or having it attached to a cord and it's just disconnected from you. 
you. But I also just love that this is a high-waisted legging that I can actually wear as a short person. It doesn't come up too high. It's not rolling over. I have mine in the size extra small short because these are a full-length legging. And so if I would have gotten the regular size, I would have to roll them up or something. I love these so much. I actually already ordered another pair that's in kind of an army green color. Already worn them just as good. I feel like they may have even been a little bit different because they kind of had where this doesn't have any detailing on the back like upper portion the ones that I just ordered have like pockets in the back they may be slightly different but they fit the exact same the hold is the same the high-waisted nature of it's the same they also came in the short length Fabletics leggings I've had a lot of success with now there's some that I like more than others I like their high-waisted leggings a lot more than their like ones that are not marketed as high-waisted. But I will be sure to link a list of Fabletics things that I like in the description box down below because you can't just buy one thing when I go to that website, I feel like. I'm also wearing another like really cute kind of sports bra, like high neck sports bra thing from there. Maybe I'll just do an entire update on Fabletics. Do you wanna see that? Because I've definitely ordered a lot more from them since I did my initial video about is that subscription worth it? And I honestly think it is. I think their quality is up there, up there. And the last kind of lifestyle thing that I want to mention are my little bandanas. Now I've gotten a lot of questions about these because I recently wore this one in my FabFitFun unboxing. And these are just from Madewell. And I love the bandana style versus just like the strip of fabric that ties around your hair. Because you can wear this around your neck, wear this around your ponytail, you could wear this as a headband. These are just a little bit more versatile to me rather than just having like a ribbon essentially. And these all come from Madewell and a ton of different prints. They have so many new styles and colors and everything. My friend Ashley gave me these for my birthday and she's somebody who wears these so well. Always looks so chic, so put together, and she was kind of my inspiration for wanting to start wearing things like this, if that makes sense. Cannot recommend these enough. These are a really decent price point and honestly they go on sale a lot. So I think that these full price retail for like $12.50 or so you can definitely get them cheaper. This to me is something that's super versatile. You can wear it multiple ways. You can still get that knotted headband look without looking like everybody else. I feel like these look a little bit more effortless. These you can like bring on vacation. They pack down really small. You could tie these onto your backpack to help identify it. I don't know. And last but not least, I have to mention this candle. I meant to mention this in last month's favorite video. And I completely forgot. I have this burning all the time. This is the Yankee Candle Company. Let me flip it around. I never show the label because I think it looks nicer without it, but this is the Yankee Candle Pink Sands Candle. Now my little brother actually got this for me for Christmas. It's lasted forever because I've burned this thing all the time. Now I have been really careful to like trim my wicks and really take care of my candles recently because I've noticed that they last so much longer, burn so much more evenly and everything if you just trim the wicks and let it burn for a specific amount of time. This one really has done great. The jar looks great. I did clean out a little bit of soot from the top before I filmed this video, but it smells so good. It smells very fresh, almost like sweet, almost pink starburst-like, but not sickeningly sweet. I don't want to scare you away by relating it to candy. It is such a fresh smell. My little brother has great taste in candles. He always helps my mom pick them out for the house, and so I was really pumped that he got me this as part of my Christmas gift. So thanks, Thomas. But okay, that's it for favorites. Again, it's been kind of a hectic month. Let's just dive into the birthday freebie section of this video. So the first one I wanna start with is Fresh, and I kept this all wrapped up for you to show how pretty their packaging is. Is this important? No, it's really not. But I just think that they go the extra mile with the birthday gift, and a lot of stores are just like, here's your free thing. Thank you for not buying anything, goodbye. At Fresh, they it used to be you just like had to be on their email list, you walked in and they gave you whatever the birthday gift was. There was no purchase necessary, it was awesome. But now, unfortunately, they make you purchase something worth $25 or more and then you get the birthday gift. So, we were already there, my friend and I were like, come on, we probably need something in here. And so we both ended up getting this little kit. It's a $22 value, I'll get to that. And it comes with the Advanced Therapy Sugar Lip Balm, which is like the sugar lip balm that you've seen everywhere, and then the Fresh Sugar Coconut Hydrating Lip Balm. So that comes in more of a like rounded packaging. The traditional lip balm is actually in my purse right now and I forgot to grab it before this video. This is what the other one looked like. I just need something that's extra 
hydrating right now and so I thought that this little kit was good they were so nice and they were like it's a recent change and your birthdays are early on in the year and we haven't really advertised it that well so we'll just let you get this $22 kit we didn't actually end up having to spend $25 they were super cool we were the only people in the store so I bought this and then the actual birthday gift comes in this pretty little box and it is a soy face cleanser and a black tea firming corset cream both of which I've had before and I think that it was worth buying the lip balm stuff because first of all I fly through lip balms like that secondly this is a travel size of that soy face cleanser which I like and have used before and a little travel size of the moisturizer both of which I'm kind of out of right now so it just really worked out timing wise I love fresh products my skin reacts super duper well to them I just always hesitate on the cost of those products but if they're effective you know you know what they say sometimes it's worth it and the only other birthday gift that I picked up was from Sephora. And you had several options this year. I ended up choosing the Milk Makeup Set. And this came with, I'm gonna show you. A little lip to cheek product in the shade Work, like W-E-R-K. I have been getting more into cream products lately. And I've been really, really loving my cream bronzer. And so I thought that this would be a fun thing to try. And then it also came with the Milk Kush Mascara, which I've only heard wonderful things about. And then also the Milk, I think this is the, yeah, Hydro Grip Primer. I'm not a huge primer fan, but I was really getting it for these two products right here. They had really, really good options this time around. And you might be surprised that I actually chose this because they had a Briogeo set, which allowed you to get the mini of the exfoliating treatment that I absolutely love. It smells like tea tree. It has done wonders for my dry scalp. Then another trial size of their hydrating like hair mask. My thing with getting that set is that I had already tried it before one. And number two, I would use up that exfoliating treatment in the little travel size that it comes in in like one fail swoop. It's just not enough product for it to be worth it and I felt like these would last longer. I would get a lot more use out of them. I don't know. That was just kind of my thought process. Another set you could have chosen from was little minis of the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream in the original scent and then in their like cabana whatever the blue one is and I love the original bum bum cream but I currently have a full size of it in my bathroom so I knew I didn't need that and I hate the smell of the blue packaging one I kind of think it smells like buttered popcorn I just it really smells awful to me some people love it they think it smells really tropical so it's really interesting how our noses detect things differently a couple of other birthday freebies that Kessler ended up picking up that I did not she actually got she's a card holder for Loft, which means that you can go to Lou and Gray or Loft and you get, I think, $15 off of your purchase. And then we also went to Madewell, which I love Madewell, but somehow my accounts got messed up to where my dad's name is showing up in my emails. And so his birthday's in October. So I never get a birthday email basically. So I've got to call and change that. But you get 20% off of your purchase at Madewell on your birthday month. So mad that I couldn't use it myself, but definitely worth mentioning. Another one that I typically go do and didn't this year just with all the craziness going on is that at Kendra Scott, you get 50% off of a full price item in your birthday month. Definitely worth taking advantage of if you really like her jewelry but if you want to know more about birthday freebies I'll be sure to link the other two videos that I filmed where they were way more extensive I picked up way more stuff and hopefully it's just fun and if your birthday's in March hello get to it if you like this video then like it stick around subscribe join the community and I'll see you in my next one bye